What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. It feels like I haven't picked up this camera in forever and that's kind of true. Lots of things in life going on and I'm glad to be recording again but I think that there's a lot of cool things to come and I just need to get back on the grind and just start doing the videos so I can have these things to look back on. I don't want to regret not doing something so it's better to just do it than to not do it at all. So, as you can kind of tell by the video, I'm in an unfamiliar vehicle, and it looks kind of big. So, we're gonna be pulling this thing around to the carport so I can actually start ripping into this vehicle. It's not a car, so I can't really call it a car. So, we're gonna pull the vehicle around so you guys can get the first look, and I can run down what's gonna be happening, what are the plans, and we're getting started. So I'm really excited to show you guys the new vehicle. So if you haven't been able to guess already, the biggest hint is this thing isn't low and it won't ever be low. Um, it's so much fun and such a different experience to drive something that's not low. Um, so this thing is gonna be totally different than everything I'm used to in a vehicle. All right, so the vehicle is actually right there in the carport. Really, really quick, little update on the Supra. As I said, I wish I was vlogging more and filming more but I just haven't been, and that's my mis you know, my fault, my issues, whatever. We ordered coilovers for the Supra. Huge news, awesome to think that that's actually coming, and we have the entire front suspension taken apart, waiting for coils. I ordered new lower control arms as well from Technotoy Tuning, I'm super hyped to get those in, but I'm not gonna be ripping apart the lower control arms until I get the new ones. That way I can have something to reference as they come apart, I can reference putting them back together, just saving myself the headache. Other than that, not really a lot of progress made on the Supra. I put it back together a little bit, drove it a tiny bit this summer, and that was about it. Uh, this car season was a bust, everything was a bust, it felt like with the whole pandemic going on and things like that, so you've probably heard enough about that for the last year. I'm not gonna continue talking about it. So, without further ado, let's take a look at my new 2001 Toyota 4Runner. So there she is. That is my 2001 Toyota 4Runner Limited. This one specifically is a Limited, which I wanted. I love the interior, the wood grain interior. I also love multi-mode, something that not every one of these trucks, I know it's an SUV, it's a truck. I'm gonna refer to it as a truck. If you don't like that, let me know in the comments. I'll stop calling it a truck, but I think it's a truck. It's a box frame, so it's a truck in my eyes. This is the biggest vehicle I've ever owned. It is big. Um, might not be big for a lot of you guys because, you know, big F-150s, F-250s, or whatever, trucks, a Tundra, things like that are huge, but this thing's pretty big, and it has to be out in the, the carport instead of in the garage because it won't actually clear. And with some of the plans coming with this thing, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit it back out of the garage when it's done. This thing is just awesome. I actually have owned it for a couple months, and once again, with talking about the whole not filming, there are a few things that have happened, especially with this, that I never, I didn't film, and I really regret it, and I wish that I did film it. This thing is an awesome vehicle. It has 225,000 miles on it. The interior is pretty clean. I did install the Sony head unit, did weather techs, uh, there was a few other things I did. Oh, converted all these guys to LEDs. It's just a really cool, like, truck. I, I like it a lot. Um, you know, it has multi-mode, which is awesome. So you have this little controller up here that tells you, you know, what wheels are engaged and four-wheel drive stuff, which I'm still learning. But yeah, dude, wood grain interior, or the fake wood. I mean, it's not real, but I love it. The rear interior is like 10 out of 10, super clean. The weather techs keep everything super, super clean as well. The biggest 
downfall is this front driver's seat, but I think I'm gonna get some nice seat covers, heated seats, which are awesome. It's just a really freaking awesome truck. I dipped the, oh, I dipped the badges just because I just wanted limited to be black instead of the chrome. Yeah, it's just an awesome, awesome vehicle. I have a bunch of crap back there, so I love it. So we're gonna go ahead. I picked up some big jack stands today. One of the biggest reasons is the height. The height on the three ton jack stands only go up to about a foot. Um, these double that, so we'll have much more room to actually get under this because it probably has like a foot of ground clearance to begin with. And the other thing is these are six tons instead of three tons. So a little more stability, a little more beefy, just a better overall jack stand. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing up in the air so we can rip the wheels off and actually start working on this thing. All right, so we got it all jacked up. The rear has tons of travel. The front, not bad. Um, the rear though is pretty wild. Pretty crazy to see how much travel you get, especially stock. Um, so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is zip these wheels off. And uh, the reason I'm doing that first is we're gonna get bigger tires, but keep the stock wheels. I'm not at a point where I want to do aftermarket wheels yet. These are great. You can fit a really nice tire uh, under these trucks with no lift, but we're gonna do a, a teensy bit of lift while it's up in the air, along with a lot of suspension and just maintenance stuff as well. She needs a valve cover and valve cover gasket, so that's a big one. It leaks oil, it's actually cracked from the previous owner, so the valve cover's shot, which sucks. They're actually cracked on both valve covers, which is absurd, but whatever. We're here, we're gonna do it, we're gonna fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and zip the wheels off, and then that way we can actually inspect some stuff. All right, so we beat the rear wheels off with a mallet. These guys were being a pain. And I tried to use PP Blaster on the back. But as you can see, I mean, these guys are due to be either sanded down and painted or just replaced, either one. But other than that, the frame looks pretty good. I mean, you have your typical 20-year-old BS that just goes on in here, so not too bad. Yeah, it looks pretty good all the way back there, so probably gonna pull the hitch off just to make sure the mounting surfaces are okay. We're gonna be doing some different springs and different shocks, but I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's also 20 years old, so plenty of good material to work with here, so definitely some surface rust and things like that, but once again, it's 20 years old, can't really complain pretty clean overall really excited to start digging into this guy and i'm excited these guys are already pretty big so i'm pretty hyped to <laughs> grab something even bigger and i think it's going to really change the whole look of the vehicle side skirts are coming off side steps for sure um, i never did it because the rest of the vehicle is stock so i didn't feel like it would really make a big difference i know this wasn't really the most exciting video or really anything crazy that happened but it introduced the forerunner to the channel and this thing is going to be a workhorse between a daily and just taking trips and traveling and doing a lot of cool like adventure type vlog stuff i think down the road this thing's going to be awesome so it's not going to be super crazy like six inches of lift and like 35s and things like that but i think it's gonna be very modest. It's gonna be lifted a little bit. Uh, it's gonna have tires. We're gonna do some lights, some armor down the road, things like that. But very, very, very excited to have this super cool vehicle a part of the channel. There really isn't much else going on other than the Supra, waiting for coils. Gonna do some work with that car as well. Uh, I wanna get that thing up and going for the summer and the forerunner shouldn't be a super huge pro i mean it's gonna be a big project but hopefully not take the rest of time <laughs> like the supra because the forerunner has some stuff that needs done so i'm gonna continue to update the videos as i do it if this video was short i apologize and if there wasn't too much going on i also apologize but we're getting back into it we're getting back into the swing of vlogs and filming vehicles so i hope you guys at least enjoyed it i'm glad to be filming again it feels good and I'm excited to get this video uploaded. So thank you guys so much for watching and as always, have an awesome day.